Use your yeah. tongue. Mm -hmm. Use your eat tongue it. to push it. <laughs> <laughs> eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Yep, you use your tongue to push it to your back teeth. Chew, chew. Swallow. Please tell us how to do it. Aww, that's a good day. How to do That's a good day, Evan. bread rising from what the fork recipe or re uh, website <laughs> say that carefully <laughs> and this is Amber's kitchen's recipe for sourdough we have pinched in the salt and stretched and fold one time and then I didn't want to film this because I didn't know how this was going to turn out but it looks like I haven't tasted it yet it looks like it's kind of thin but it's um, gluten-free flatbread, like naan. So I rolled it out, used my leftover starter. Got this station set up here to continue to pull and stretch the bread. We're gonna thaw some hamburger meat out to figure out what to do with. Here's what it looks like prior to cooking. And here's my empty jar. This is my gluten-free, it's already bubbly. This was just my starter from the refrigerator that I'm gonna feed some more. And then I'm doing a large batch of regular sourdough so we can make a bunch of recipes. I think I wanna make some sourdough sandwich bread and hamburger buns. Welcome back to Oso Farm. My sweet little Evan is kind of having a fussy morning. I've been trying to make this video for a while, so we will do our best to bear with it and push through. So this morning I have started some bread. I have finally found some success with figuring out sourdough. And I do not feel like I'm at a place where I could even tell you how I got here because it was so much trial and error. So if you are trying to do sourdough, don't give up. It definitely is a learning curve. But um, this morning, I started another loaf of sourdough. It is rising, and that'll be baked tonight. And then I also started from Amber's Kitchen Cooks. I can link it below some sourdough hamburger buns. So if those end up turning out, we will eat those tonight. But I have a lot of discard. So if you're not familiar with sourdough, you have a starter. And then to keep going with your starter, you have to take a little bit of starter and then mix it with fresh water and flour. And then what's left of your starter is just what they call discard. There are some recipes that I've found that you can use up your discard with. So this is my gluten-free discard. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this um, gluten-free pumpkin spice bread with sourdough discard. I will link this recipe below. Um, if you are new here, I um, was recently, within the last couple of years, diagnosed with celiac disease. So I am gluten-free. And then my daughter, Evelyn, has not been tested, but she feels like she has some sensitivity to gluten. So she typically eats what I eat. And then we are a large family. We have 10 children and we homeschool and so we eat all of our meals at home. So for them, I don't do gluten-free. So 
let's get started. I, I've already mixed up in this bowl gluten-free flour, xanthan gum, baking powder, baking soda, sea salt, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. And then I think I have all the other ingredients out. Oh, I'm out of milk. Hmm, we'll use almond milk, we'll see. Okay, so I've preheated the oven. I'm gonna whisk together, okay, I did all of that. Stir in nuts, raisins, chocolate chips, etc. I'm not gonna add any of that. I may add some raisins. Let me go get some raisins. I have a ton of raisins from Azure Standard that we need to eat up, so I'm gonna go get some of the golden raisins. Add a little bit of raisins. These golden raisins are really sticky and not really easy to eat just individually as a snack, but they've been fine to bake with. They're regular dark raisins. I think they're like a currant. Those are actually really good just for snacking. And speaking of Azure Standard, I think my cutoff for my August order is actually tonight. And so I need to, or this afternoon, usually it's like at four o'clock. So I've got to look at that. So I'm just stirring in these raisins to the dry mix in a separate bowl. We're gonna add the pumpkin puree, which it said, I should have measured all this out, but I've kind of been flying by the seat of my pants with Evan this morning. Oh, one cup. So this is 15 ounces, so I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate half of this would be about a cup. So mix the pumpkin puree. I have two eggs here, room temperature, light brown sugar, which of course I don't have out yet, a third a cup of oil, and it, it called for avocado oil, which I've, I use this for cooking. I don't really think I've used this for baking before. We're gonna add a half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm out of milk, so we're gonna use almond milk. Okay, so a third a cup of almond milk. And a half a cup of brown sugar, lightly packed. Okay, and then we're gonna add some vanilla. Whisk to combine, and then whisk in the sourdough discard. Okay, this is good, because it used up most of my discard, so then I will just re Feed this and have fresh starter to make more bread. What I have not, I've had success with getting my gluten-free sourdough starter to rise well, like get bubbly and double in size. The um, recipe that I've used, it's turned out beautiful and it tastes good if you toast it, but it's not, it's still kind of sticky when you cut it. So then I cooked it longer and then it got kind of rock hard on the outside. So I think I'm gonna try a different recipe and maybe turn the oven, the heat down and cook longer and not keep it at the same temperature. Okay, pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. I'm actually going to pour it this way because this bowl is a little bit bigger. And then this just says incorporate until combined and moistened, transferred into a prepared baking dish, which I have here. These are really pretty Martha Stewart 
set that I got at Sam's Club. It came in a three piece set. I actually bought my Emma one for Christmas. They have them in this blue color and like a taupe and then a light gray and they are so nice. I think they were $24 for three. You got this size and then an eight by eight and a nine by 13. Smells really good. Okay. This seems like it's gonna overflow. Okay, we're gonna trust the process. I'm gonna put it on a, I just, or I had Brian clean out my ovens not too long ago, so I'm gonna put this on a baking sheet in case it overflows. It's saying on here that it bakes longer than a traditional pumpkin bread, so bake it for 60 to 75 minutes, and if it starts to brown on top, to cover it loosely with foil. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna get this in the oven and then I'm going to pull everything back out here. On my sourdough bread, I've pinched, you mix it up, you let it rise for 30 minutes, then you pinch in the salt, I've done that step. And then what you're about to see is a stretch and fold. I've done it once and I have to do it two more times every 20 to 30 minutes and then we just let it rise until bake time. To a video yet so I'll insert it here. I um, made some with my discard, my gluten-free discard, some flatbread and it was really good. Um, I've been keeping it in the freezer, uh, freezer, refrigerator so it wouldn't go bad and I have about three pieces left that I'm going to toast tonight and you or for a snack later and use to dip with some hummus but for Brian and I I'm gonna make some little individual pizzas so I just have the flatbread and I added some of the Give and Gather um, Target pizza sauce. And I'm just gonna put mozzarella cheese and pepperonis. And then the kids are going to eat leftovers from last night. All this is is chicken fried rice. And it's not really a recipe, but it is a really easy meal. So all you need to do is make as much brown rice as you think you need to feed your family. And then a bag of frozen carrots and peas. And you just kind of mix the cooked rice with that in a skillet till the veggies are soft. And then I scramble up some eggs and stir that in. And then I also had some shredded chicken from the freezer. So just add the amount that you want. And then um, you just add soy sauce until it's the taste that you like. Since we're gluten-free, soy sauce does have gluten in it, so I use the amino, um, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> the liquid aminos, this is gluten-free. And so I used this instead. So the kids are just gonna eat this. There's not enough for all of us to have it. That's why I'm making Brian and I this. And then we have to stretch and fold the sourdough one more time, and then it rises until it bakes. And then I think I'm out of the kitchen for a while. Okay, so we're gonna turn this over. Whoa, it just fell right out. So 
sometimes that doesn't happen. Oh Lord. It's kind of top heavy. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, I'm going to get a serrated one. Oh, that looks really good. Looks like it could have been cut maybe a few minutes longer. And I always like, I have this little metal container here with powdered sugar. I always like to sprinkle powdered sugar on cookie bread. We will taste it. Moment of truth. Good. I think it could have been cooked about five minutes longer. That's it. I'll make it again. I'll definitely cook it. The thing came out clean, but. Anyways. This is the sourdough that we're going to cook tonight. It is still rising. Evan's having a pajama day. He just said, let's go. And I am, don't let him out here. One minute. Rising. Oh, good grief. I have these covered. There's the thing. Okay, I've got to rethink this. These are my hamburger buns that I had rising out here. And then my thing fell off. They're heavier than you would think. Okay. So I'm going to cover these. These, in theory, are going to double in size. Well, I'm skeptical. We'll see. What'd you get? We didn't get anything. Well, we got two things of peaches. Their peaches were on sale for $1.98. We got two bunches of bananas. A bag of grapes. I literally, we could go through one bag a day. So always get an extra one. Four milks and a case of yogurt. And that should push us. We might need to grab a milk at Dollar General, but the next groceries that we'll be getting will be our August grocery haul. My hamburger buns did not rise. They were a big disappointment. 